Hey everyone, and welcome to another Vector Touch Plus video tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a Vector Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, in Adobe Illustrator. My name's Ryan Quintel, and I'm going to be walking you through this intermediate level tutorial. So let's fire up Illustrator and get started. First we're going to create a new web document. Here we're going to use 1600 wide by 1000 tall. We'll call this Northern Lights because Aurora Borealis is hard to spell. Now, uh, the effect we're going to go for is uh, pretty popular. I would just do a Google image search to see exactly what this will look like, um, but we're going to make our own. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to name layer 1 Sky, and that is our base layer. Now we're going to set up another layer called Layer 2 Mountains. And we're going to make a third layer we call lights dash big. I put big in all capitals just so I can read it quick. And another one that says lights small. And we're going to drag the mountain layer to on top of both of the light layers. Now with your mountain layer selected, it's time to draw out some really simple mountains. Grab your pen tool, and right along the bottom of your canvas, just start clicking and making a kind of jaggedy mountain range. Like that, and completely go over where the canvas is. So that looks pretty good. We can zoom out and select that, and Shift X, swap around the colors. All right, now I know what you're thinking; those mountains don't look too good, but we're going to uh, do a little bit more in the ways of mountains coming up. So I'm going to squish that a bit. Now, locking down the mountains layer, we're going to put up a, a sky as a temporary placeholder so we can see the rest of this better. Select the sky layer and come over to your tools and use the rectangle tool. Click once on the canvas and we're going to make this 1620 pixels by 1020 pixels. That's a big landscape type of thing. and I'm just going to hide this gradient palette so we can deal with that later. And now with that selected just drag it right into the middle of the canvas. We made it a little bit bigger so it would overlap anyway. And then we're going to color this night sky something. And we're going to make this a really dark blue. Kind of faded, if you will. In fact, I'll come over here, get a more accurate color for my color mixer. That's good. That's pretty dark. I'm going to go a bit darker. And so, the color we chose was 0E1216 for the sky, which you'll notice is a very muted, very dark blue, pretty much black. But we want the mountains to still be um, brighter. Now we'll lock down the sky layer. Here comes the fun part. We're going to click on the lights big layer, and we're going to start by making some northern lights. How are we going to do that? Well, turn off your fill color over here and set your stroke color to white. White is fine. Now we're going to grab the light. Now we're going to grab the line tool. And this line segment tool we're going to use to draw out some of these Aurora Borealis lines. Start from with inside your mountain and drag your line up to be at an angle something like this. Now holding down the tilde key on your keyboard, that's the key next to the number one. I want you to hold that down and drag across until you get something like that. And I'll show you that technique again. You start at the bottom and you go up, not holding down anything, just clicking and dragging. And then we're going to do it again. Here's a second one and do two more of these so you get some good coverage 
And the faster you do it, the more you get a kind of spread out gapped experience, which is kind of nice. In fact, in here, since these are all so close together, I'm going to delete a couple of them. That's good. Now that we have our four what kind of look like spotlights, we're going to start to do uh, we're going to start to do some transformations on these. Now we're going to lock down the big layer and go to the small, and we're going to make some smaller ones. What I like to do is start at the base of the mountains, have it overlap slightly, and you'll see that effect in a minute. So now we have uh, these overlapping lights. Unlock your lights big layer, select them all, and set their opacity down to 50%. So these shine through each other. Now this is a pretty cool effect in and of itself, um, but we've got a couple things we want to do. Now hide your lights small layer, so it's out of sight, out of mind. And we're going to be dealing exclusively with the lights big layer right now. First select one of your beams entirely, and you can click and drag to select that. Then go to Object, and Expand. Hit OK. And that turned these all from different strokes into basically elongated shapes. Now we're going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and we're going to roughen this. You can bring the size down to 4%. Change it to Absolute, and turn on Preview, and hit OK. So you can see what that did, it kind of made these uneven, squiggly kind of lines. Now you're going to rinse and repeat for these other three. I'm just going to select them all. Object, Expand, OK, Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. We'll select these other three, object, expand them, and effect, and apply that same roughen that we put on before. So now you can see that we're getting these uh, kind of more smoky uh, beams, if anything, and they get sort of brighter as they hit the bottom. Now, with each beam, control G and group it. The alternative is you can select it, right click, and go to group. Now that we have these in a group, it's time to color these so they look a little bit more like uh, the classic northern lights. Select all of our northern lights, and in your gradient palette, it's time to make these uh, a gradient. You can see that changes a bit. Now the first color we want is going to be a sort of light blue. The second color we want will change to RGB. And we're going to make this a green. Brighten that up a bit. As we unselect, we can sort of see the effect that that had. We're also going to select these all and make it the same gradient. Click on the gradient tool and drag from the top to the bottom. So these should get blue towards the top and green at the bottom. 
and that is a pretty good foundation. Now since these are all grouped as separate objects, we're going to start to distort them and give them a little sense of motion. Come over to your warp tool and double click. We're going to change these to being 450 and 450 for its width and height. Hit OK. And then, using the warp tool, start to bend and shape the northern lights in a way that makes them a little bit more uh, filled with motion, a little bit more uh, directional based and kind of seem like they're emanating like smoke from these mountains. Sometimes I'll swipe like that to give a broad sense of direction. And that looks about like how I want it to, so this is kind of looking like uh, a genie's magic lamp at this point. 